Today marked the end of group play as teams solidified their positions in the standings. A 1-1 tie against in-state rival Carlsbad Elite 99 of California South advanced Albion SC White to the under-15 girls semifinal. Albion took quick control of the Region 4 Championship semifinal rematch by winning the ball in the middle third and playing it up to midfielder Diamond Quinn, who struck the ball to the back post in the 16th minute. The deficit didn't get Carlsbad down, and in the 57th minute they capitalized on a free kick right outside the 18-yard line. Midfielder Sierra Ng went up to take the kick and slam the ball into the left side of the net to tie the game. The final whistle blew and the tie kept Albion in first place in Group A. Penn Strikers of Eastern Pennsylvania advanced to the semifinal after a 1-1 tie versus Top Hat 18 Gold of Georgia. A swift goal by Emily McNesby put Penn Strikers in the lead just four minutes after the starting whistle. Forward Charlotte Teeter found the equalizer for Top Hat in the 44th minute but the final 1-1 result kept the Strikers in second place and gave them a shot at the semis, where they will face La Roca Premier of Utah. I mean, to get in the semifinal is big. You know, this is a team that a year ago didn't even win state cup, so our improvement is just unbelievable, but we've got to get even better to match the Atlanta team the way they played, you know, the kind of soccer they played. They were excellent, and I, you know, I'm just proud of us, so hopefully we can do the same thing in the semis now. The experience that La Roca Premier got from last year's national championships has proved beneficial as the National League team now moves on to the under-15 girls semifinal after a decisive 5-0 win against Futura Pink Panthers elite of Missouri. La Roca dominated the match from the first half with opening goals by Olivia Wade and Sammy Murdoch in the 19th and 30th minutes. The Utah scoreline was extended with a pair of back-to-back -back Macy Martinez goals in the 36th and 39th minutes. Wade closed the scoring in the 50th minute with her second goal, getting the Utah side to the semifinal against Region 1 champions Pennsylvania Strikers of Eastern Pennsylvania. The discipline, the hard work, make this team in the four and the best four. I really think um, as a fitness wise, I think as a tactical part, as a mental part, this group make a huge difference in my opinion. A 1-0 win gave 2013 national champions Legends FC 99 of California South another shot at the title. Their victory against under 15 girls Solar Chelsea Elite of North Texas saw a 55th minute tally by forward Emily Now. The result pushes the Cal South side into the under 15 girls semifinal, where they will face in-state opponent Albion SC White. A lone goal bumped Top Hat 17 Gold of Georgia from the running and advanced La Roca of Utah to the under 16 girls semifinal. Midfielder Michaela Colahan found the back of the net in the 60th minute to push her undefeated La Roca team to the semifinal. Under 16 girls Futura Academy Forte Elite of Missouri advances to the semifinal round after a 2-1 win against King's Hammer Academy Red of Ohio South. Futura kicked off the match with back-to-back -back goals by Kayla Deaver and Nina Stein in the 12th and 24th minutes. The 2-0 lead didn't last long after halftime, as Sarah Wampler tried to make a comeback for King's Hammer by putting them on the board in the 42nd minute. The 2-0 lead didn't last long after halftime, as Sarah Wampler tried to make a comeback for King's Hammer by putting them on the board in the 42nd minute. Kings fought for the equalizer, but the 2-1 result ultimately advanced the Region 2 champions to the next round. That other game, um, La Roca won, we're in. That, that moment where I was able to tell the girls that they advanced uh, was, was, was a beautiful moment. It's uh, many times as a coach, you got to tell them the hard stuff. Um, and it's, it's so refreshing to tell them the, the, the good stuff. Um, with uh, our victory today and the cooperation by the other group, uh, allowed us to advance the semis. Follow the moments on championships.usyouthsoccer.org.